Wow, more Osu drama. Quick recap, a YouTuber by Aaron made a video calling Osu shorts and TikTok lazy and rubbish content, which is true because it just recorded Osu gameplay over a trendy meme. This offended the Osu shorts creators and it started a little bit of discourse. It got resolved shortly later, but four months later, Aaron decided to make another video about the same topic, basically doing the same thing as his previous videos just calling Osu short creators trash again. It then led to a response video from Strawberry, one of the biggest and more vocal Osu short creators making a response to this topic. Okay, trust me, my opinion on this is interesting as someone who is also a content creator that is known for Osu. Please hear me out. I'm going to be sharing my spicy take on both of these videos because there's a lot of things that rubbed me the wrong way about this whole situation. Mainly Strawberry's response made me the most enraged, but I'm going to talk about later. Let's talk about Aaron's video first. I'll start off by saying this, but some of the stuff he says in the video is based as hell. Osu Shorts has always been bottom of the barrel content, and Aaron calling how the content has evolved into it being NSFW related, which is deplorable, is valid. The whole point of these short creators justifying their low effort content is to appeal towards newer players, since they bring a lot of views. But this is where I disagree, because Osu Shorts are pretty much a deformed hand playing Osu over something trendy. It's the definition of brain dead content, and the viewers aren't watching the video because of Osu, it's because of the funny meme in the background. That's how dumb they are. The rise of NSFW content solidifies this point because the type of content that makes the game appealing is usually like an inspiring story of a top player or some really cool play. Not because of a video of Hatsune Miku getting railed to Osu gameplay. The issue about Aaron's video is the way he presented it, because it seems abrasive and filled with some sort of jealousy. He tells these Osu short creators that they're nobodies because their subscriber count is inflated and then flexes that him only getting 5k subs gets more views than them when they're at 100k subs. I see the point Aaron's trying to make, but it's very distasteful when he calls them nobodies, as well as the phrases he says in the video, like, You might be able to jerk off with BTMC in your free time but other than this vertical short form landscape you're a nobody and then bring up the fact that he gets more views sounds very egotistical there's a bit of a negative reaction towards this video i mean of course if you're gonna make a video being abrasive towards a community then what do you expect with Aaron being young and probably not in the best mental state, those negative comments got to him even though there was more of a positive feedback on his video. So in response, he made another video shortly after. Life is tough. It's an unscripted 10 minute video with Aaron taking accountability for his video, understanding that the words he said can be hurtful and how he wants to change, along with some personal stuff. Although you can tell that he's overthinking the situation a lot by saying that everyone is against him and his YouTube career is over. Knowing that I I'm constantly ruining my YouTube future because I'm cracking some jokes here and there is I'm distraught. Those negative comments can seem overwhelming at first, but he's gonna be fine, don't worry. Apart from that, it sounded like he reflected and took accountability for the harsher things he said in the video. Good job, proud of you kid. But then shortly after, he went on Twitter and started beef there. It was a tweet from Karomi saying that he's truly quite sad to see someone like Aaron live on the same planet as him. Like, bro, the guy just made a kind of mean Osu video, but you're treating him like he groomed a child. The mature response to this is not to reply to such a spiteful comment. But Aaron didn't do that. Instead, he just posted a screenshot of a DM by Karomi calling someone a fucking nigg. There's also another screenshot he shared of him saying all this sexual stuff to a minor. Ugh, fucking Osu players, man. Ugh. But Karomi's weird behavior isn't the issue here. It's the fact that Aaron was petty enough to use some screenshots that are from old drama and not related to Towards the topic. It shows that he really didn't reflect properly on his past actions, and doing this as a way to defend against someone that was attacking his ego. Aaron deleted all of his tweets and blacked out all of his profile pictures, so I think the backlash of this incident might make him seriously reflect on his actions and issues. If you talk shit, then you get shit. Simple as that. Doesn't matter if you're young. So if you're gonna talk shit about Osu short creators, of course those creators are gonna fire back. That's where Strawberry's response video comes in. This hater crossed the line. Basically just a live stream clip of him reacting to Aaron's initial video. Some important background with Strawberry, but he's the second biggest Osu Shorts creator with 450,000 subscribers.
subscribers, 190 million total views, and one of those videos reaching 20 million views. Additionally, the maps he played in the video are mostly made by him, and he allows other creators to use these maps. He's basically carrying the Osu Shorts content scene. In a way, he's kind of a representative of the Shorts community here. The video is kind of long, but here's the things I agreed on. Strawberry highlights Aaron being a brand risk because he called a company retarded. Well, it proves overinflated numbers don't mean shit, but you can easily take advantage of retarded companies. I'm looking at you, drunk deer. What happened to our deal? I completely agree with this. The comment was pretty dumb, but it doesn't relate to the topic of Osu Shorts. That's Aaron's problem to deal with when he's looking for future sponsorship deals. So whatever. Yeah, that's kind of it. So what made me feel so enraged about this response? Well, nearing the end of the video, he immediately goes to his YouTube analytics and then proceeds to show off the money he makes. This is why I do this. You see this money? You see this money? And as Aaron would say, that's when something, something just, just snapped. snapped. Something, something inside, inside of me. Because it really highlights what's wrong with the Osu content scene and even YouTube content in general. What happened to the idea of making videos for fun or with passion? Osu isn't a popular game and it's clear that the people that made videos back then did it because they loved the game and it was a way to give back to the community. You can tell that the creators back then put their hearts out on their videos and the support and positive comments are usually reflective of this. But now, these type of creators in the Osu community barely exist. I can only think about a few of them because they're now being overshadowed by the shorts creators who only make content for views and money. You do all of this and what does it give you? Just think to yourself for it. It gives you money. It's such a soulless mentality to have and it's reflective of the content they make, producing repetitive, uninspiring, brain dead, trendy content since it manipulates the algorithm into giving them views. Now creators aren't inspired to make something that is creative or informative because it isn't rewarding. Instead, they get influenced to make these shorts because look at the views and money they're making. On top of that, the barrier of entry is low since Osu shorts are very easy to make. So you have all these Osu content creators just pop out of nowhere, spamming short form content, as well with existing creators not getting a lot of views on their videos. So they sell their soul and start creating Osu short content and get success from there. With the increase of shorts, it now means that the Osu community is turning into slop. But the Osu community will turn into some slop. Don't it already is slop. That's the thing. In a way, I understand that it already is, which is why Osu content is dying. But wouldn't it be in the community's best interest to have this problem solved? You know, bring back the passion the community once had. Nah, fuck that. Just produce slop content and become a part of the problem instead. Giving the Osu community a bad reputation. Maybe it's inspiring as a creator being like, ooh, they're on that constant grind to get that bread. I gotta do what they do. But as a viewer, it kind of fucks us over because we want to watch something that is good. I understand that money is important to live, but at what cost? I've met people that scam or hurt others just for money, and they justify it by some of the things Strawberry would say. Oh, it's a cruel world, I need money to survive. This is barely survivable in this economy. Although making YouTube shorts isn't as equivalent to scamming or hurting people, it still has a negative impact towards the content creation sphere, and you can tell that these Osu short creators do not care about the community. Strawberry doesn't even acknowledge ruin the quality of Osu content throughout his video. Instead, he just brings out money and then misinterprets every single point in Aaron's video. Numbers can easily get you spawned. Why are you why are you using my clip? Aaron uses the Miku gaining railed clip as an example of creators using NSFW themes for their content and saying that the game is growing because it brings views. Strawberry responds with I'm not the first one that did this. Udlong is the first one to map this entire thing and he actually he actually benefited doesn't matter who was first you still use softcore porn for your youtube shorts the guy does not care about the slop he's producing the only thing he whines about is when aaron mentions his girlfriend i don't care if you're if you're talking shit about me aaron but when you bring my girlfriend into this that, that's that's over the fucking line kid go fuck yourself even though the girlfriend part was a tiny comment that only lasted 10 seconds out of an eight minute video strawberry and all of his defenders invalidate 
update this video because they found it disgusting that Aaron would bring someone that isn't relevant to the discussion. I'm using shorts to fund my future with my girlfriend whom I plan to marry and I and I plan to move overseas. That's what I'm using shorts for. So Aaron said in his video, He is doing this shit in order to get enough money to sustain in this cool world and to be able to stay with his girlfriend. Literally says what you said. You're the one that brought up your own girlfriend. Although after that, he makes a joke about it. I mean, if he kept spending money on sexy dresses for his girlfriend, he might not be able to save up enough. Nah, I'm just playing. So sorry, bro. Sorry, He's bro. implying that she's a gold digger. Fuck you. I don't know how you twist his words to make it insulting to your girlfriend. The joke itself is fairly tame, but this comment basically summarizes my thoughts on it. At the end of the day, Strawberry and all the other Osu Shorts creators are going to continue on making brain dead Osu content, being a new representation of the community. It's no longer going to be passionate community members like BTMC, who's pretty much the staple in the community due to everything he's done. Instead, it's just going to be these short creators like Strawberry, where they're egotistical, only care about money, sponsors, and subscribers, as well as making uninspiring and brain dead content. And it's already bringing in a new wave of content creators that are like this. There's no passion for the game or content they're making, and I don't want this to be representative of our community. I used to love watching Osu content, but I started to notice how stale and boring the content creation scene was. So that's when I started to make my own Osu content in the first place, because I wanted to be that change. I experimented with different ideas and video styles, trying to be unique and offer something new. I know that my younger self would have loved these videos, but in reality, I didn't get far. I was naive to think that I could make a change because the content within the community started to get worse. And considering I'm labeled as an OSU content creator, I'm viewed as indifferent from all the slopped around me, no matter how much I try. 